Hello everyone. So this is the lesson on polynomial equations, okay? So what are polynomial equations? Okay, so polynomial equations is if a polynomial function f of x is equated to zero, then we have a polynomial equation in x, okay? So here, when we solve polynomial equations, uh, we're basically getting the x-intercept, or basically getting the roots of the equation, okay? So we know already what the x-intercepts are, okay? Now, there are many ways to do this, okay? Now, the first method is what we did last meeting. It's about uh, factoring. And the next one is use of synthetic division. And the last one, which is where we, uh, what, pretty much kind of like a new one for you, is about rational roots theorem. So we're going to work on this. OK, let's start off with factoring. See, example. So find all x-intercepts of the function, express your answer as a list of x values. OK, so suppose we have f of x equals 2x to the third plus 7x squared. So first thing first, we set the equation equal to 0 and then start to factor. So which means f of x equals 0. Okay, and then we have now here 2x to the third plus 7x squared. Then this is the one that we need to factor. Notice that in this, common factor is x squared. So I can take it, uh, I can only take out x squared. So that's going to be, if I take out x squared, I get the other factor to be 2x plus 7. And then since each of this is a factor, I'm going to separate them, right? That is what we have now would be x squared equal to 0 or, or n. 2x plus 7, and then we're going to solve for x, okay? So for this case, x equals to 0, and the other one would be x equals negative 7 over 2. So we have two answers, okay? So x are, intercepts are x equal to 0 and uh, negative 7 over 2, okay? Next example. Suppose we solve for x. It's already set up to 0. It's 2x to the third minus 12x squared plus 18x. Notice... 2, 12, and 18 are all divisible by 2, okay? And then each has an x, so I can take out x. So the common factor is 2x. So if I take out 2x, I get x squared minus 6x plus 9. This one is a quadratic equation, so I can factor that out as x minus 3 and x minus 3. So factors of 9 whose sum is negative 6, okay? Now remember the x thing. So again, we have three factors. That is 2x equal to 0, x minus 3 equal to 0, and x minus 3 equal to 0. Is all a mystery. So here we get x equal to 0, x equal to 3, and x equal to 3. Notice 3 appears twice, right? So it's basically when you try to solve it, it's just actually 1, but it's repeated. So you only have actually two answers, with one answer being having a multiplicity of 2. Okay? So you have a 0, 3, which are a repeated solution. Okay? Now, Let's go on to the next method, which is about uh, synthetic division, okay? So say, for example, we get if f of x equals x cubed plus 4x squared plus x minus 6, and x minus 1 is a factor of f of x, then find all the zeros of f of x algebraically, okay? So since we already learned what synthetic division is, so what we're going to do is to first divide f of x by x minus 1, okay? So it's going to be a factor, which means if it's going to be a factor, which means remainder is going to be 0, okay? But we need to find the values, okay? So that's the first thing we're going to do. So if I'm going to do that, I'm going to line up all the numbers, as you can see here. So 1 is for x cubed, 4x squared is 4, 1, and negative 6. And then since it's x minus 1, that's going to be a 1 right there. So bring down 1, multiply 1, you get 1. 4 plus 1 is 5, times 1 is 5, add is 6, times 1, yeah. And 6 and 6 times 6 is 0, so which means it's a remainder, which means this is the remaining factor. So the factors are x minus 1 and this expression, which is actually equal to what? x squared plus 5x plus 6. And now what we're going to do is to factor the, uh, the quadratic equation. So factors of 6 whose sum is 5 would be 2 and 3. So that's going to be x equal to 1, okay? x minus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 3, which means your x values are 1, negative 2, and negative 3, okay? Let's have another example. So suppose we have a, this equation again. Again here, x 
plus 5 is a factor. So again, if it's plus 5 is a factor, we divide again by synthetic division. So if I have that, I get now this, okay? So x cubed, this is the numerical coefficients of the equation right there. Notice it ended up at 0, which means the factors are x minus 5, x plus 5, and this expression below, which is actually x squared plus 4x plus 3. So give me factors of 3 whose sum is 4. That's going to be 1 and 3, which is x plus 5, x plus 3, and x plus 1, making sure that our answer is x equals negative 5, negative 3, and negative 1. Okay? So that's how you do it by uh, synthetic division. You give you one answer, and then you find the other answers. Okay? However, what if you're not given one of the answers? Then all you got to do is to use rational roots theorem. Okay? So rational roots theorem is that possible rational solutions of f of x, okay? So if you have a polynomial like this, a possible rational solutions has the following form, p divided by q, which means p is the factor of the constant term of the last term, which is this a sub 0, and then the factors of the leading coefficient of the polynomial function, okay? So last term divided by the first term, possible factors, okay? Like say, for example, Okay, so use rational roots theorem to find all real solutions to the polynomial equations, okay? So here you do not know exactly what the values are, but you know that there are three answers because it's given by x to the third, okay? So by rational roots theorem, we need to find all factors of 20 and all factors of 1 and then divide them together, okay? So that's what you mean. So which means possible factors of 20, we have now the following, okay? Could be one, factors of 20 is one, two, four, five, 10, and 20. It will include positive and negative values, okay? Always remember that, okay? While x cubed is just positive one and negative one, that's why it's one under there, okay? So if I divide that, okay, I have now my possible solutions as follows. There you go, okay? So, all those answers for that equation are in there. We just have to determine which one. So we're going to test one. Let's start with one. Okay, so we'll start with this one, which means I'm going to be putting in the numerical coefficients for the polynomial. There you go. And then the one is right here, synthetic division. Notice the last one is a 24, which means this is not one of the answers. Okay, now let's choose another one. So say negative one. Okay, now if you choose negative one, okay, if I do that, synthetic division, I'm bringing still the same numbers from my polynomial. Notice that it ended up as zero, which means, again, x plus one is a factor, okay? So which means negative one is one of the answers. So one of, from here, it shows that the remaining would now be, this is x squared minus nine x plus 20, right? which is actually x plus minus 5 and x minus 4. So your answers are negative 1, which is the one right here, and then 4, and then what? 5, okay? I know it's kind of like uh, you have to test. Sometimes you get uh, a trial and error, so sometimes you get a wrong answer, and then time you get a right answer, okay? But once you get to the right answer, you can get the rest, okay? Let's have another example. Okay, find all possible roots of the equation x cubed uh, plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 8 equal to 0. So possible roots are factors of 8 divided by factors of 1. So factors of 8 are like plus and minus 1, plus and minus 2, plus and minus 4, and plus and minus 8, right? So we're going to try, okay? So let me try just 1 first. Or let me say try 2, okay? So if I try 2, notice, it ended up as what? 0. So I'm putting all the numbers, 1, 3, negative 6, negative 8, and then this is 2. So I bring down 1 and end up to be the remainder to be 0, So which means 2 is one of the answers. But this is what? 1, 5, 4, which means it's what? x squared plus 5x plus 4. That's the remaining 
factor. Those factors are what? x plus 4 and x plus 1. So aside from the two answers from x equal to 2, there you go, you have your other answer as x equals negative 4 and x equals negative 1. Okay? So that's how you do it using the rational roots theorem. Okay? So for your online classwork, again, you're going to do delta math. Okay? So this is under the topic solving polynomial equations. And then the deadline is Friday. Okay? So Friday midnight. Okay? Any questions? You mess up. We're going to do this again. Okay?